Hey. <laughs> Fuck, I'm so tired. I just got up like three minutes ago. And, uh, okay, it is working on Twitch, very nice. Uh, three minutes ago, and I thought I got plenty of time because it was scheduled to start at one. Um, apparently it's not. <laughs> so, fuck it. And let's start casting. Um. Fly is leading 1 0 already. So we're slightly behind. But whatever. I think I will recast this as a VOD later. Um, but just to gather some some viewers here. <laughs> Good morning, yeah. Uh, okay, that's it. We're ready to go. Fly, the current world champion, is fighting Sushi Shi. And if you're not familiar with this, uh, Fly has not lost a single map in a serious competition against Night Elf in more than one and a half years. Isn't that, like, super crazy? <laughs> and now he's leading again. I read the comments on readmore.de. And they said uh, it was a stomp. It was a complete stomp. So, uh, so far... Sushi has an expansion, but Fly is in a great, great position. He can attack and he can also get the reinforcements uh, from Sushi Shi's base. Awesome how many people are tuning in already. It's just crazy. Okay, Sushi already on tier 3 with the Tinker third. And yeah, Master Upgrade is coming. So there will be a fight soonish. The inventory on the Torn Chieftain looked very promising. I uh, hope everything is okay regarding the sound and whatever. So. The army of Fly looks good. 49 for him. He scroll even. And yeah, the robe of the Maggie. Best item that he can get. More experience. Uh, more and more mana. Whew, whoa, this is something. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> the Blade Master is plus 8 with two uh, slippers and a circlet, and the so important Invo Potion. One of the most important items in this matchup. Because you can't be cycloned if you're in uh, beast mode. And so that's where you hit your fatal, fatal damages. Or where you're supposed to hit them. Okay, Fly retreated here. And the envy, uh, the the expo for sushi is still is still up. That is very interesting. So sushi playing kind of outside the box, because usually you never see an expansion against Nile. I'd love to see what happened here, but of course Fly is the big favorite in this one, and the winner of this game will advance to the winner bracket final, meeting either Terra or Focus. If I'm not mistaken. No, it's between 120 and... Let me check. Oh, that's a big file. Let's check it later. Inmu Potion being popped immediately. Interesting choice. Going for the Tinker right away. Backstab damage. The turn Cheetah is helping as well. Here comes the Staff. Tinker is out and safe so far. The Raiders are going ham on the Talents. But nice repositioning. Nice uh, Shockwave out by Fly. And the Blade Master well cancelled or well disabled. But the uh, Talents... They're dying left, right, and center. What can he get? The Beastmaster. Nope. There's a town portal again. But I think the fly, uh, the fight went awesome for Fly. Still 54 food for the Night Elf. Or does yeah, uh, for the Orc. I don't know. Oh, 40. I don't really get the supply numbers here. And there's a second expansion. Shishi is playing this Moon style. The winner will uh, face either Moon or Romantic. No, that's wrong. This is the loser bracket. Oh, God. You see how tired I am? This will get better in the process, though. <laughs> this is the loser bracket. And the winner will, will face uh, either Remind or 120 or Infi and Focus. I guess. So, one expansion up. Second expansion in the build. 
the heroes are not a level 3 beast master. That's not too promising, but he has heal scrolls and a heal potion. Is Fly engaging now without any items? No, he's trying to creep his torrent chieftain up. I think he's on level 3 already. The shockwave looked pretty good. No, he's not. Okay, then it's a pretty clear way he's going to creep here. So far, this is looking awesome for Shishi. And the streak might be ending here. The streak is kind of over. But on the other side, Shishi is creeping as well. He wants his level 3 Beastmaster for the level 2 Quill Beast, so there's more damage against the walkers. <coughs> and the big mana potion! Holy shit! What an item! What an item for Fly! But there's the big invul for uh, Shishi. Looking very concentrated, both players here. Of course, it's about uh, being eliminated here. If Shishi loses this map, he's out. First two talents very well ensnared, immediately taken out of the fight. But it's... Uh, it is kind of a dangerous situation for Fly. Two expansions up now. The Orc has to do something against this. He has to engage, maybe even just base lame. Are we about to witness the first loss for Fly against the Night Elf in one and a half years? That would be so crazy. Shishi did not look that strong lately. But here we go again. He's distracting so he can gather gold. Immediately focusing one raider and he's dropping low. There was no spirit link on that raider. Here comes the shockwave. Awesome! Awesome wave, but cyclones as well. There's no pocket factory so far, as far as I can see. An ogre mauler being bought by Sushi now to uh, protect the talents. But so far it's looking good for Fly. The fights always look great for Fly. Did everything is dispelled now. The raider's kind of low. Is there another heal scroll? That's the big question. One raider down, second raider about to fall against the demon hunter. Yes, six supply gone, and on the other side, there's a walker dying. Sushi is picking up one unit after another here, looking good, but the next shockwave hitting also very nice. Still 46 food for the orc. Oh, now the raiders have a good positioning. The next uh, shockwave comes in, the next pocket factory comes in, but immediately being cancelled. And he has to send some units away. Maybe the blade master has to do all the works here. Fly is retreating, he can do that with uh, with Ensnare of course, he needs healing selves, he needs some time to stay alive in this one, 68 food versus 42, holy cow, yeah and now he needs to run away, he needs to run away as far as he can, and of course Sushi can start producing again and he's building the third expansion here on TS. Completely outmining the orc. This is something I've rarely seen before. Of course, TS is always a good night of map, but in this fashion, <laughs> I'm surprised. Okay, maybe a Hail Mary from Fly now, going for the Tinker right away, but I guess the Staff is ready, another perfect Shockwave! The timing and the positioning of the Shockwave is absolutely gorgeous! There's a lot of mana on the Blade Master, so there can be backstep damage, Pocket Factory down again, but the focus on the Raiders is working perfectly! Level 4 on the Torrent Chieftain, another Raider down, the Illusions that do not tank up that much damage, but Fly is keeping himself at life at at least for now, another shockwave, but not that great this time. And he wants to go for the Demon Hunter now. A lot of end snares. I don't know the inventory of the first hero of the Night of Try. Uh, Fly tried to reposition himself. Now it's working. Invo Potion on the first hero. But in the meantime, the Raiders took care of a lot of talents because the damage is focused to the Torrent Chieftain. And here we go. Invo Potion on the Beastmaster as well. Both heroes of the Night of Low and in danger. But also the Torrent Chieftain. He needs to save a second hero. But okay, there's no mana. But he keeps him alive as well. And the Demon. The Demon Hunter is is 
it's being staffed out. It is being staffed out, saving him now, but this opens the opportunity to kill the second hero, but in the meantime, a lot of damage coming to the Blade Master, and it's GG, and the streak is over. The streak is over. Sushi getting the equalizer here. What an upset. What an upset this is. Fly the gangster. <laughs> Losing his first map against Night Elf in serious tournament, serious competition in one and a half years. Years. Whew. Okay, TM was the first map, TS was a Sushi Shi win, and now the final map will happen on Ancient Isles. Yeah, it was supposed to start at 1. I know that, but I just woke up, checked Read More, and saw, what? They're playing already? So, uh, I didn't even brush my teeth or nothing. I just ha headed to the PC and uh, started casting. So, if it's a little, if I feel a little tired or whatever, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry, but I'm awake for 10 minutes now. I will recast the series for sure. And later we have the game of Moon versus Romantic. That's promising. I don't really know why they rescheduled it. It's a bloody mess. I'm so sorry for that, but yeah, what can you do? Okay, it's Ancient Isles as the decider. The loser of this game will drop out. And it's gonna be very, very interesting. Will the champion of the world be eliminated here by Sushi Shi? In the first round of the loser's bracket. Fly looked so dominant in uh, his group stage matches. I think he didn't lose a single map. No, 2 0 versus Alice, 2 0 versus Romantic. Just a demonstration of force, but we kept saying this over and over again. If he has a bad day, he's kind of a grab bag. Everything is possible with this guy, and one day he beats the world elite, on one day he is, uh, yeah, playing like, I don't know, an amateur. Okay, Ancient Isles now, another okay Night Elf map, I would say. It's not that easy to creep the Torrent Shift into level 3 later. There is always a decent chance for an expansion if Sushi is, uh, is doing this again. Usually it's not that easy on AI, but with an Ancient of War creep, everything is possible. So everybody expected a clear 2-0 from, from Fly. Like he uh, did against Law Light in the Constellation Final at WCA. But so far, Sushi is able to keep up. Of course, in between the games, they have a lot of time to prepare from uh, uh, for the games. And maybe that's also what will make Moon strong in this tournament. He was always the best when he could prepare for one single opponent analyze the replays, talk with other players, and uh, think about some strategies. And maybe this is what's happening to uh, Shishi here as well. This is definitely an entire different scenario than it is, for example, in a Jera Cup, where you can never prepare. Where you just have to know what your opponent is playing. So, so far a very passive game as far as I can tell.
no big pickups, of course. Uh, keep your grunts alive. This is uh, another thing in between heaven and hell for Fly. Sometimes he does crazy three and four unit surrounds um, with his grunts, and sometimes he just loses two of them in early games. But Shishi is doing a good job harassing one, keeping him busy, not able to creep simultaneously. But there's the first clause of attack for the Blade Master. That's of course a very, very important item for him. Only the gloves of haste for the demon. And I think the tier two should be halfway through here for both players, especially for Fly, since he will be uh, taking very, very early. Oh, but I told you about his grunt control. Sushi is doing a great job harassing here. Oh, will he block it? Oh. Can he block the entrance? No, he... Whoa, he can! He can and he surrounds the Demon Hunter! Are you kidding me? Great move by Fly. Staff, thank God he has a staff. And he's out of that and the Grunt remains alive. Fly looks like he lowered his monitor, yeah. <laughs> he's looking like to his desk. But that's something Moon did too. He plays on iPad. Nice comments. <laughs> so the early game went pretty well for uh, Sushi Shi, I would say. Almost level 3. Almost getting a grunt. So that means uh, one more healed self than he'd usually need, or two more. And Fly is very, very busy. Not a real pickup, only level 2. That means the harass in the early mid game will be a little harder. Here comes Beastery at large. The Beastery is in a dangerous situation. Oh, he positioned an archer so he'd be able to staff in, but reaction is too late. And of course, on the other side, once you reach tier 2, double arcanes, uh, double engine of wind, and the Beastmaster as a second hero, but as a uh, colorful, played against. Focus yesterday or two days ago. He's not attacking. There's no early tier 2 push by Shishi He just continues to creep of course with level 2 you get the hog you get a lot of information and you know exactly where the blade master is and he wants the Demon Hunter on level 3 as, uh, as fast as possible. So I think since the Orcs figured out how to uh, counter the tier 2 push, like building traps, walling off their base with peons and grunts, um, I think it's over. The tier 2 push finally is over. Ancient of... Uh, uh, <coughs> uh, Staff of the Wind, what's it called? Another dangerous situation here, of course, Torrent Chieftain for Fly, but he lost a lot of hits, uh, a lot of HP on his first hero here. He has to be careful, but there is a lot of mana. When of the wind being used, surround is not closed as far as I can tell. Oh, it is! It is! And he gets the crit! And he falls to the town pawn! Holy Christ! The Blade Master remains alive. The Blade Master remains alive. Okay, what an intense game! What a tight game this is! More talents coming. Where is tier 3? And when is tier 3? Fly is far, far behind at the moment. He needs to level his TC, but as I mentioned before, it's not that easy here. Maybe going to the Merc camp. So he could be able to get some uh, Shadow Priests. Uh, what did he get? Or did he sell it already? I didn't see. So the army of Fly is looking promising. He's going for the red spot immediately. He stole the item in the south. He will get the Warlord in the north as well.
Fortunately, I don't know the Chinese item names, otherwise, oh, Scratch Bone Chimes here would be the perfect opportunity for the Orc. And another Wind of the Wind. Okay, that means that perhaps the Demon Hunter is high up in the air all the time because there's no Dispel. And so there's less mana burn, and so there's more shock waves. So if Fly, uh, if Fly puts this Wen to good use, then he's pretty much safe, I guess, in the fights. But we have to see. <clears throat> So, level three and a half demon. This is looking good. There's a staff, there's a town portal. Sushi is playing this very, very safe. Like the entire game. And here comes Fly, raiding the main base. I don't know if he has pillage, but he got a moon well. And that means, of course, less healing. And here we go, Red Drag, Creep Spot, if there's uh, the Vamp Aura, this would be perfect for Fly, but there are also another, uh, a few other decent items. He will finish this Creep Spot before the Night Elf arrives. And it is... Sobe Mask! Also amazing for the TC. So this combination of One of the Wind and Sobe Mask can be great. Especially for the TC. Invo Potion, Heal Scroll. Second Heal Scroll on the TC. Level 3 for the TC. Fly is ready. He's waiting for 60 food for his one Raider and one Walker that he's producing right now. And then we can start this. Guys, why do you think that there's no sound? Think for a second. Okay, Fly is marching his way down to the Night Elf base. <clears throat> Another creep spot. Is he wasting time here? I don't think so. Level 4 on the Blade Master is also very, very good. But Shishi is preparing. He sees the Orc now with his Hawk, and he has been seeing it for a long time. <laughs> So there should be a lot of potions on the Night Elf as well. 62 food and a mana potion. But Fly is playing this passive as well. He wants to creep the entire map before attacking. I don't really know why. The position for Shishi is awesome now. Right behind the moon wells, not being able to attack by the raiders. The engine of war up front. I don't really see... Yeah, the Blade Master sees it now. Okay, Shishi has been idling for a minute or two. <laughs> Neo, make the sounds yourself, alright. Double. I am yours. Okay, this is maybe the final creep spot of the map, as far as... Okay, there are two on the, the west side left. But the army of Fly is so big. <coughs> Shishi... Oh, Fly is expanding! All right! Is... Okay, Sushi scouts this in like a second. Will he counter expand? 
I guess there's a wisp ready in the upper right. Does he have the resources? Is the question. And I don't think so. Oh, so many good items for the orc. Hoo hoo hoo. The world champion is one fight away from being eliminated, but also one fight away from reaching the loser bracket semi-final. A game on a knife's edge, and it is basically the the knife of the blade master. Oh. And Sushishi is only turtling. There's nothing else. He can't leave his base. He doesn't have to leave his base. If his gold mine runs dry, he will just uh, escort his tree of eternity to the next gold mine. And that will work pretty well, I guess. Or does Fly want to get this timing? He got a lot of items already from the shop. Or from the shops. And that's a big down part here. Sushishi is not leaving his base, so he can't get the Invu potions, he can't get the heal scrolls. And that is, of course, what you need. No one wants to do the first step, but here comes Fly! Beastmaster should be level 3 by now. He, of course, does not want to fight in the Night of Space. He wants to lure him out, and it's working! A lot of Sushishi fans in the chat, okay. Interesting. Nice position of the Fury Dragons. Creating a little choke. But of course exposes them. But they have 15 armor. 12 armor, I'm sorry. So it takes some time. Free hits for the Night Elf right now. Sush Sush Sh Sh well, uh, Sushi is playing this really smart. Has to be careful about his first hero. Though the first shockwave doesn't hit anything. No end of the wind being used to prevent the mana burns. But the Demon Hunter tanked a lot of damage. Just... Uh, so did the Beastmaster, but he's back to full HP. And the position is just perfect. The position for Sushi Shi is absolutely perfect. The Raiders are not able to attack the Talents. I think Fly is about to drop out here. The Tinker, of course, the first target again using the potion. Here comes a nice Shockwave Mana Burn right away um, to prevent the second one. And one Raider is dying after another. Is he going for the hero kill? I think there's still a staff possible. We'll see about that dispel. No, the first hero! Whoa! Being staffed out with like 3 HP, he gets the hero kill on the Tinker now, but it's not that important. It's only level 2, it's only the Pocket Factory. He's out of mana anyway. Level th up for the Blade Master, and, but he has to retreat. There's no chance, the talents are too strong. And will he get the Torrent Chieftain kill with a surround of his own? That's the big question. My voice is cracking like crazy, okay. <clears throat> Fly is losing one unit after another. Now it's magic damage versus the walkers and they die like flies. The blade master down to 100 HP. There's nothing to save him anymore. He's trying to go for the hero kill. Super risky move. But here comes Cyclone. Saving the beast master again and again and again. Can he fight back from this? Can he fight back from this? Can he get the beast master now? And there are no town portals. Town portal from Sushi. Hoo hoo hoo, the Blade Master. Still alive. And the expansion got cancelled? Somehow. Somehow the expansion of Fly got cancelled. How did that happen? Orc has to heal up ASAP. And Sushi is coming. Sushi she is coming. And there's no mana on the TC. He needs a mana potion. Like right now. A clarity and a mana potion. But mana burn right away. Sushi is on point. He cancelled it. Okay. Okay. Is this the nail on the coffin for the world champion we're about to see? Town portal out again. Okay, Fly is doing a good job buying time for himself. Hoo -hoo -hoo! Backstabbing two crits in a row, but not enough. Fly is buying time. That's a good thing for him. Okay, I didn't see 
the cancellation, I'm sorry. As I mentioned before, I just got up. No shower, no nothing. Just uh, leaving the bed and start casting here. So please excuse this uh, small mistakes. Well, that was a rather big one, but you know. And here we go again, desperation move of Fly, but he's kinda rebuilding his army, 49 food for him versus 52 of Shishi. He goes for the heroes again, critical strike, but oh, nice when of the wind being used now, awesome uses of the man, of the wind, of the wind, no staff available. Here is the heal, uh, here is the hero kill that he was waiting for for such a long time. What's going on here? Ah, holy shit, something's horribly wrong. I got some in-game sounds here. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. Here we go. Leave this. We'll use the Nettie's client later. Um, okay. Hero kill. Finally by Fly, but only 37 food. Uh, was a bad idea to start the Nettie's client in between this game. But here, here it comes, expansion again. And so far, Fly survived, but for how long? Of course, both heroes again vulnerable. It will take some time to get the Blade Master back, uh, to get the Demon Hunter back. Engine of War is down, the big wood shield, and he's only going for the heroes. The Blade Master is back on the ground, but Cycloned again. The damage has to come from somewhere else. But he gets him. No! He does not get him one more hit! But the Blade Master. Boom! No! Holy shit! Oh, ho, 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 ho. This game is so close. But now. He does not commit to the kill. He does not commit to the kill. All the moon wells are dry. I think he doesn't have to. He can do it when his army is a little more replenished. He goes for the Tinker, but there's a heal potion left. Sushi has no income. Okay, the gold mines are still running, so he has a little income. Oh, the Cyclones of Shishi. Disabling the Blade Master. They were so important. But also very, very expensive in mana. Almost level 5 Torrent Chieftain. And then one Shockwave. Almost kills a Talon. The expo is coming back. Fly is playing this great. But of course we all know the harassment from summons can be very very good. Gold mine has expired now. Alright. No income anymore for Shishi, but the question is how long? Of course he's night elf, of course you all know the drill. Uproot your tree of eternity, walk over to the gold mine, but this will take some time. I don't know if he has uh, nature's blessing. But I think so. <coughs> wow. It looked extremely bad for Fly in uh, the early late game, but he kept coming back. Double level 5 heroes. Critical Strike, level 3, Torrent Chieftain, Shockwave, level 3. All he needs is mana on the TC, Invu Potion on the Blade Master, and then go for it. But Shishi wants to kill this expansion right now. The positioning can be great, but he's kind of trapped between them. Here comes the Shockwave. <coughs> A lot of Cyclones being used very early on. This could backfire later. Another Shockwave killing one Talon. And I don't know if there's a heal scroll. He desperately needs one. But there's no mana on the Torrent Chieftain anymore. I think there's a counter expansion. There's something that Sushi is building in the upper right. Expansion remains alive. The Tree of Eternity is walking towards the expansion, but Fly is focusing on the main base. Killing the moon will stop producing, uh, stop the production, and maybe even more important, stop the healing. But 
Sly wants to... Uh, Shishi wants to interrupt this. Once again, Cyclops on the Heroes dispel immediately, but there is no mana on the TC. No shockwaves in this fight. Pocket Factory is gone. But Fly has to do something about the tree, I feel. He can't really fight this. <clears throat> he cannot really fight this without mana. Okay. It's still f only 40 food. It's only 40 food. But Fly going for the hero kills again. This worked only once. In the other scenarios there were staffs and town portals and potions and whatever 232 critical strike beastmaster has no chance and as long as there are raiders and as long as there's the blade master flies still in this game here we go maybe the demon hunter no you the tinker now can he get an end snare out yes he can but nice cyclone again on the blade master cancelling it the surround is closed the surround is closed i don't think there's a staff Sushi Shi losing two heroes in one minute, or will he? Another end snare. Invo Potion being swapped, and the Tinker remains alive. That surviving skills by Sh Sushi Shi. How he's able to keep uh, to keep his heroes alive—it's a miracle. In the meantime, the Tree of Eternity almost reached his destination. There's only one raider, so the siege damage is not that high. I feel Sushi she can defend this. But yeah, the expansion is running. Fly's expansion is running as well. 31 food versus 33. We got Kenny come back. Kenny force a fight where the TC has mana. It's getting a little harder because, of course, the mana burn gets better as well. This is a super cool Night Elf vs. Orc match. We have seen a lot of them lately, but they never disappoint. Nice to end snares. He will get the kill. Ah, he's not committing to the fight. The pocket factory was great. And both players have an expansion again. <laughs> This game will be followed by Reem, uh, by Moon. Oh, two, two crits instantly killing the Wisps. Um, by Moon versus Romantic. You can find all the information on Reddit. Uh, but I guess it's wrong. You can find all the correct information on readmore.de. In the ticker. It's understandable for non-Germans as well. Only three Wisps in the mine. Because Fly took two. Will he get the rest of the main base now? The Moon Wills, of course, cannot be uprooted, cannot be transferred to the new expansion. And he could keep Sushi Shi's supply stuck. That would be a very big deal. Moon Well is down. Sushi can still produce. He needs a second one. Shockwave once again. Good. All the talents low. Is the Tinker back? Yes, the Tinker is back. Hoo -hoo -hoo, but the Beastmaster... The Beastmaster is not back, right? Oh, another shockwave killing two! And Sushi Shi is kind of falling apart here. He is kind of falling apart. Invu Potion being used, but the Tinker, he has zero chance. Cutting his HP in half with just one critical strike. Down he goes. Two down, one to go. He finally has the gold for the Beastmaster, but will it be worth it? No, it's not GG and Fly advances and Sushi Shi is out. What a comeback from the reigning world champion. I almost thought that he died in like minute 15 of this game. But no, he switched his game plan, not going for the units, going for the heroes and he kept trying it over and over and over and over again. Until it finally worked, until he finally bought himself the time to uh, <coughs> to rebuild his army. And then a crazy, crazy back and forth between those two players. 
What an awesome game. I feel very, very bad for Sushi. Sushi. He played really good. And he got one accomplishment, breaking um, Fly's unbeaten streak. That was really good. That was a really nice game. I like that. So next up is Moon versus Romantic. Romantic, the favorite player of Mr. Yaws, who eliminated TH in the group stages. So, it's gonna be interesting. Moon, yesterday against Terra, he had zero chance. Like, not at all. No, no chance at all. Oh, I think it's time for a cap, right? Um, I'm not wearing pants, so... Ah, fuck it. Okay, this is a little better. At least a little. Oh, the camera focus is always switching. I don't like that. So, better now, guys. Better now. Of course, tomorrow we will cast uh, Remind versus... What is it? Remind versus... Uh, versus... 120. And Infi versus Focus. I hope they won't change the times again. So I'm updating the Reddit. If you want to stay in touch with this tournament or don't know what it's about, war3reddit.com. There's a mega thread where you find all the needed informations about this. 